I'm a veterinarian here at Center Merch's Veterinary Hospital. I'm a professional stunt woman by trade. I'm a stay-at-home mom of four boys. I'm also known as Thin Slice of Violence. I play roller derby for the Long Island Roller Rebels. I'm better known as Bushu Sugar with the Long Island Roller Rebels. My name is Trinity. It's so catchy, nickname. I like an alter ego, and that's kind of what roller derby is. You're coming in, you get to be somebody else. You get to be the superstar in your life now, the hero. Like, you're someone else on the track, and that's what everybody's trying to do sometimes in life, escape and have fun. <laughs> I really dread helmets more than anything. And if you see, I'm always arguing with everyone how I don't want to wear a helmet for anything. You gotta pay attention to your body, your height, um, your center of balance, and your control of your shoulder. You hit her up here, that's still legal. You hit her up here, not legal. There definitely is an element of danger in roller derby. When I started, you know, you feel invincible, like nothing's going to happen to you. In February, I had broken my foot in multiple spots and was unable to play. Bob did break her wrist the other day at practice, but you want to play this sport, you want to do it, so you assume the risk. You know, there is hitting. We're allowed to shoulder check, hip check, but there's, you know, rules. This is a full contact sport. You're hitting with all parts of your body. Back in the day, you were allowed to fight where in old school it was a little more of entertainment, where now it's more of a serious sport. So, you know, there's rules you can't, you know, punch, clothesline, you can't block to the head. I mean, we're not trying to kill each other. You can't block between the knees. You know, people have lives, they have families. It takes a toll. We practice like two to three times a week. We have, you know, bouts one or two times a month. Yeah, three times a week we have to do that. We have to make a certain amount of practice to even be about eligible. It's just a lot. It's a lot of time. I do fundraisers, I do events, I do PR, um, and I pay dues. <laughs> we don't get paid as much as we want to. You know, they're trying to get uh, recognized for the Olympics, hopefully someday. That would be awesome. Or go pro. That would be even better, get paid to do what we love. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are nurses, doctors, school teachers, and yet when they come to roller derby, that's it. They strap that helmet on, maybe put some war paint on. Well, I've been a stunt woman for, it's gotta be over 15 years now. Basically, the part that I'm gelling her, the part that's getting gelled is the part that's actually gonna be on fire. Through professional stunt work, I got handed a script to do uh, a stunt coordinator movie about backyard wrestling. I'm kind of a wrestling fan, and then finally got asked to come to WWE. That actually parlayed into roller derby. When wrestling was over, I was looking for a sport that was just as crazy and active and physical, and somebody from wrestling, an announcer, said, you should play roller derby. I'm like, there's roller derby on Long Island? <laughs> I was in vet school and the team out there was skating and painting with their skates. So I looked at that and I thought, that looks like fun. I got to their fresh meat night and I've been hooked since. Part of this is due to the obesity, but also when we x-rayed her shoulders, she had um, some arthritis in there. I take care of small animals and exotics and my day can consist of seeing anything from a puppy to kittens to geriatric dogs, throw in a snake there and uh, I'll see pretty much anything. <laughs> Roller derby kind of saved my soul, you know, being a stay-at-home mom. I found a bout flyer at a concert one day and it said tryouts for the Long Island Roller Rebels. I was also five months pregnant. I went down and watched the tryouts. I'm like, well, this is definitely something I could do. So I waited till after the baby was born and the rest is history. I had not put on a pair of roller skates since I was 15 years old in laces in New High Park. My husband's my childhood sweetheart. He is a sergeant in the U.S. Army. He came back last year from Afghanistan. He is so supportive of the roller derby. He actually is one of our medics. Why roller derby? Why not roller derby? You can still have these physical sports where you know the whole idea is to beat each other up, but that's not the only idea behind roller derby. There's an actual sport there. There's skills that you learn, and you still get that team aspect of it, and you still get to go with people. I'm hooked. I love it. I don't. I don't know something about it. It's just keeps me coming back. It's not easy. It's not easy to, you know, take a couple of hits and get up and just keep going. 
but it's, it's just not for everybody, but it's definitely for me. Two, three. <laughs>